I decided to stick around the locale where I filmed that previous spot that you looked at just right behind me it was a, an interesting stream and uh, as I walked up and down the banks I saw lots of different uh, compositions that may work um, and this brings me to mind of a fellow named Gary Goff, G-A-R-Y-G-O-U-G-H, -G he's a Brit photographer, uh, shoots weddings and portraits and reportage and uh, does some beautiful landscape work and the lesson I've taken from Gary other than uh, how to be a first-class guy is that uh, if you watch him work in one of his vlogs he he works a location he will look at it from high and low left and right over it under it every way he can and likely as not he he may get a photograph from each one of those uh, perspectives and he's gonna come up with something that's very nice um, and we call that working the location. So you get there and you, before you ever put up your tripod, you, you, you grab your camera, you start looking. And when you find a spot you think is gonna be a pretty good place to put the tripod down, you mark it or remember it, bring the tripod over, set that up there, and then put the camera on it. And you may or may not shoot from there, but it, it lets you rest the camera from a perspective that was at least interesting enough to catch your eye. So you shoot from there, or you don't, and then you work around, you work the location. Go to the other side of that big rock. Go stand in the water, put your wellies on, keep your toes dry, shoot up the stream, shoot from the other side of the stream. Look at the light, be aware of what it's doing, and it changes incrementally every minute, less than a minute, and um, that factors in how you work this scene. Well, I'm talking about the process of getting these things shot. Um, I wear a hat most of the time, and uh, other than hiding a lot of my ugly face and head, it's it's useful to block uh, flare out of a lens. You'll see me use it here in a minute when my hand doesn't prove sufficient. And you can see the kind of flare we're talking about in the lens of the vlogging camera, and that's uh, also skittering across the lens of the shooting camera as well. So uh, when that when that hand doesn't prove to be enough I'll take my hat off and I'll stick it out there and you can watch it shadow the lens and you can be pretty sure that it's going to get rid of a, a lot of not all of the flare you'll also see me with that uh, remote release uh, what I'm doing is I'm, I'm pulling it away from the camera so that the cord that attaches it to the camera is not touching the camera that's from the old school days where you had a cable release and if anything was touching the camera it would impact the uh, steadiness of the shot. So, um, old lessons learned the hard way uh, may or may not always apply, but uh, can't hurt.
Dome in the Great Smoky Mountains, barely in Tennessee. It's 6,643 feet above sea level here. And uh, when I left Gatlinburg about two hours ago, about 20 miles down uh, the side of the mountains, it was 83 degrees and it's something like 63 here, so we've dropped 20 degrees and 4,000 feet of elevation gain. So, anyway, um, as you can see, the sun's behind me. It's flaring. Now it's right behind you. That's uh, due west. It is, what time is it? It is five, a little after five, Eastern Standard Time, Eastern Daylight Time. I imagine it's gonna be at least two hours before sunset. I'm gonna set up with a reverse grad filter here and see if I can shoot something worth having. So, uh, I'll keep you posted. What we've got, and you can't see because we're looking right into the sun, it's a Fujifilm GSX GSF 50S and uh, got a Nisi fuel hole, <laughs> got a Nisi filter frame on the front of the uh, 62 to what is it, 32 lens? It is the 64 to 32 lens. The medium zoom that they have and uh, 
It's probably about like 24 to 51. And uh, along with a Nisi holder, I've got a, a, a four stop reverse grad Haida and a four stop soft grad Haida. And it's given me a pretty good uh, split in exposure from the trees in the foreground to the smoky mountains and into the sky facing just about due west, almost into the sun. I'm gonna wait till it drops, about an hour or so, start shooting. Right now, I'm at F-16, and an eighth of a second, but that's gonna change, and I'll shoot throughout the sunset, and hopefully wind up with something worth having. And uh, I'll show you what I get later on in this vlog. Thanks for sticking with me. It's a lot like watching paint dry. <laughs>